Three months to the day after the shooting at Robb Elementary, we could learn the fate of the Uvalde School District's police chief. Our Ariel Placencia has more on what we can expect today. Ariel, so many families and survivors have really called for change. Yeah, they have, and that change could start tonight. Chief Pete Arredondo has been the target of a lot of the blame for the botched law enforcement response to that shooting. The school board is meeting tonight to decide whether or not to fire him. Now, meanwhile, we're learning Arredondo brought up several security issues to the school board more than a year before that deadly shooting. This is video of him at a March 2021 meeting where he talked about problems using police radios to communicate while in school hallways, as well as doors that were routinely left open. He also called for more active shooter training. There's such a heavy presence of law enforcement and different agencies in and around Uvalde, Arredondo said, and in an effort to coordinate their first ever multi-agency active threat training was held in August 2020. The plan was to host more. The goal, the chief said, was to get all the emergency responders more familiar with the school campuses. If we were to have anything occur at one of our campuses, we're going to have a lot of off duty personnel come in here and and it's going to happen and you're not going to control it. So the least we can do is at least give them some kind of an idea of what our campuses look like and and provide them the training so we can all uh, respond as accordingly as possible in a situation like that. Now, last night, the Uvalde City Council approved a permanent memorial for the 19 children and two teachers who were killed in that shooting. It'll be at the town square, one of the sites in Uvalde where people gathered to pay their respects, and a committee of community members will now decide on the eventual design mark. Okay, thank you for that update this morning, Ariel.